Alrighty, we're going to be running some uh, 10 3 red, black, and white for a, uh, uh, a heat pump, which is very common in the South. 10 3 will be used for a smaller heat pump. 8 3 will be used for a larger one. This is going to be a larger one that's going to be using 8 3, which is red, black, white, and the ground. And it's a 240. You have 120 between the red and the white, and the 120 between the black and the white. You have 240 or 220 between the red and the black. And I'll show you the cable. So this is the cable we'll be using. And if you look closely, you'll see it is made here in the country I was born in. That's a nice thing to see. So we'll put this down through the floor and I'll show you how to wire it into the breaker box. Okay, so I'll start taking the jacket off of this here. I'll just use my sheetrock knife. I'll just come down the side very carefully here without making the wires. So this is the larger heat pump, so we're wiring with 8, 3, and we're putting it on a 40 amp breaker. And it's still wired the same as the 30 amp with a 10, 3 conductor. It's just a heavier breaker and a heavier gauge wire. The larger the number, the smaller the wire. The smaller the number, the larger the wire. So I'm going to just carefully work my way getting this outer jacket off. That's our ground wire there showing it's not a bare spot. I'm gonna make sure I have enough. And there's a 6.3 cable like this for a 50 amp circuit, which is heavier yet. And that would be for your electric stove. And it could be for a large welder too. This can be used for a, a 240 volt welder as well. Okay, so we're going to take our outer jacket off. Make sure we didn't cut any conductors anywhere. See if that's going to be long enough. Okay, it's going to come over. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit more off. Because I'd rather have enough taken off so I don't have to uh, go back and do it again. Okay, so now we can clip our outer jacket off here. And uh, praise God, I don't have my uh, strippers or my cutters, so if I don't have them, I don't have them. So I'm going to look and see if I do have them. Yes, I did remember to bring them, so I'm happy I have them. So, I'll just clip around my outside here, get all my jacket off here, so it's all nice and clean where it's coming into the box.
Okay, now we're going to I'm going to take our paper off of our ground wire here. I get all our paper off of here. So I'm going to bring them into the top of our connector here. I'm holding this ground wire so I don't lose it and touch that and cause a short. going in straight if I snug it up. Okay, and I'll hook this ground wire up so I get it out of our way here. So what I'll do, I'll take it, I'll push it up into this corner over here. Get it all the way up into this corner here. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it. I don't wanna cut it too short because I want it to be nice and neat here. A little smidgen more off. We'll get the wire into our hole here. Make sure it's in all the way. I hate these Phillips screws, see how they don't turn? So I have to use my flat head. Make sure it's tight. I'll push it back so it's nice and neat here. Okay, now we'll get our white wire over here onto the neutral bar. This is a main panel, so you can have your neutrals and bare ground wires on the same bus bar and have you put this bonding screw in on a main box but you don't put the bonding screw in a sub panel even though they tie together at the main box. So we're going to take our white wire, we'll push it up into the corner again like that. And I'll bring it down, bend it over or it's going to go to the neutral bar. I'll cut it right here. And I'm just going to drop them if I don't throw them out of the way, so I put them on the floor. Okay, now this is number eight, so I'm just going to score around here gently without cutting into the insulate, into the copper, very gently. And I'll just pull the uh, jacket off. And as you can see, it's a stranded wire and not a 
solid wire so it is easier to work with so we'll put it in our neutral bar we'll put it in the hole here I'll open our screw up so we get our wire into the terminal So we'll get that back so it's nice and flat. So I'm going to tip this down a little bit so you can see me hooking it to the breaker. So I'm going to bend down just a bit here. So we're going into this bubble cool breaker right here. I'm going to bring the light over here so that the light gets over here a little bit better so you can see. So I'm going into this breaker right here. So. Uh, I'll get our red wire going up across here and coming down. So I'm gonna take it, get behind all of our other conductors up here. I'll push it up so it's nice and straight. Make my bend like that, or it's gonna go up into this corner like that. I'll bring it down. So I have to get it behind this neutral cable up here. So I'll get it in behind here. So it's behind everything and nice and neat. So I'll bring it down, bring it over. I'll come to where I'll push it up in here so it stays back and I'll bring it down I'll come to this bottom here so I'll cut it right here now I'm going to strip a little bit of copper off to get it under the uh, terminal of the breaker so I'm just gonna just gently score around here without cutting into the copper and again it's a stranded conductor so I'll loosen up our terminal here put my wire in on it behind here so it's a nice square Yeah, make sure I don't get the insulation under that pressure plate there. Yeah, make sure the insulation is just coming up to the bottom there. Okay, there it is. It's nice and tight. So there's one live conductor hooked up. Push it back so it's all nice and neat. Now this is our other live conductor, which is the black wire. Okay, so I'll get behind this uh, neutral wire up here.
Okay, so I push it up here. I'll make my bend here, or it's going to come into the breaker, and I will cut it right here. Again, I'll strip my insulation back here. Pull the jacket off like that there. This is again a stranded conductor. I'll, I'll bring out a strand so you can see one. See there's strands in here. I'll loosen up the screw so I can get make sure I get it under the terminal. You always want to make give them a little tug, make sure that the uh, it's in there tight. So I'll put it in. Get it under. Make sure it's in under the terminal all the way. Make sure I see there's just a little bit of copper behind it so I don't get the insulation under the pressure plate. Make sure it's nice and tight. Come back in. So that is how to uh, wire a 220, 240 volt, 40 amp with number 83 with ground to your uh, main panel box here in the country I was born in. Peace. Thanks for watching. As you can see, this is a total house renovation where it's all new construction. I'm doing some. Uh, wiring. This is the downstairs. And there's some sheetrock up already. And up on the ceiling too.